literally October 1st. Walked into work and quit. And my sister, everybody, you are crazy. You, mean, you spent eight years in college going to a chemical engineering job and, and stuff. And I was like, hey, I'm just not happy doing that. As far as I can remember, I just want to have a piece of property and live on the dirt road that I can, you know, put in food plots and do stuff with hunting and deer. I grew up in Humby Heights, Minnesota, a little suburb of Minneapolis, and I could look out my bedroom window and look right into my neighbor's window. I mean, I grew up in the city, basically. And we'd always go up north to my grandparents' house that lived in the country in northern Minnesota. And I just loved it up there. I was just infatuated with deer ever since I can remember. You know, we hunted in northern Minnesota where my dad did, my, my granddad did. Soon my neighbor down the block, Paul Lambert, him and his dad, we started bow hunting together. I remember Paul was a year older than me, so when he was 16 and got his driver's license, man, we were all over. We started to go out on our own, boy. We, we were finding all kinds of stuff. You know, we had all kinds of places to hunt, but he says we got into our 20s and mid-20s, he started seeing that's going away. And so that's when I was like, all right, I have got to go get a job as an engineer, doctor, lawyer, something that I can afford some land because I see where this is going. And then, uh, you know, we found our first farm for sale down there that I really would have liked. And I couldn't afford it myself, but at that time I was working as a chemical engineer at an oil refinery in Minnesota. And one of my buddies that worked there too, you know, he, he said, yeah, I'd like to go in on something. We went, went in together and we bought uh, a piece, that piece in Kansas. I was finagled it at my job to work on shift with the guys out in the refinery. So when it came to hunting season, I was running down to Kansas and looking at stuff, putting in food plots. And our whole life revolved around hunting and, and you know, building that property. Tiffany and I just, were just getting married in August and I was saying, okay, it's time to grow up here. And you gotta start thinking about a family and stuff and you get married. We, I was moving up in, you know, in the company as an engineer and stuff. And okay, it's time to get, you know, promotion, move to a different job. Okay, but now it's more pay and stuff, but um, it's, uh, you know, nine to five, five days a week job. and and everything was fine until I got to like September and just knowing October 1st was coming around the corner started getting grumpier and grumpier and grumpier and Tiffany's like, well, if you're not happy, you should just quit. Literally October 1st, walked into work and quit. I said, just because it was opening day of hunting and I wasn't out hunting and knowing that I wasn't gonna have all the things that I just loved more than anything, being part of Monster Bucks videos and, and doing all that stuff that weren't gonna be able to do that anymore. I just walked in and quit and I called Tiffany I said, you want to go out for lunch? She's like, why aren't you at work? I said, I just quit. You want to move to Iowa? I said, yeah. So we did. I quit and we moved down there. And, and back then, I would have never dreamed that we'd have, you know, today, you know, what we have. I mean, I would have been, you know, if somebody told me you'd have 40 acres in it, you know, be able to put a two-acre food pot on I would have said, oh, my gosh. I mean, this is the best thing in the world, you know. You know, you can either to keep dreaming about it or you just pull your boots up every morning, go work your butt off every single day towards it. And it's, uh, you know, lo and behold, here I am you know, 20 years later and I have everything I would have ever dreamed about as a kid and more.